Good afternoon and welcome to Valley Views. I'm your host, Glenn Edison. We're certainly glad to have you. And as always, we're thankful for our sponsor, BTC Fiber. And you can see our programs on BTC Fiber's YouTube page as well as BTC Fiber's Channel 18. And today we have with us Victoria Harrington, <clears throat> excuse me, and Starling Fowler of Pipeville Pampered Paws. There we go. I'll get it out in a minute. And Trixie was here a while ago, but she's gone. She's, but <laughs> she's fallen into the yard. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, first of all, thank y'all for being with me today. Yeah, I appreciate y'all being with us. Uh, I know we've been working on this for a while, <laughs> but that's all right. We finally got it. And uh, let me ask you this: What got you started into doing a business like this? Well, I um, I kind of fell into dog grooming um, ten years ago. I was like frustrated with my job. I worked at a sandwich shop, so I was just looking for jobs, and I kind of stumbled upon a bathing position, which is what Starling is now. Like you start off as an assistant, and you bathe the dogs, and you like do their nails, and, and I just fell in love with it from there, and my boss was like, you seem to have a passion, you know, I can teach you how to do the grooming aspect, and I'm like, I would love that, and it kind of um, spiraled from there, and then my parents moved here to Pikeville, and they were like, hey, Pikeville needs a dog groomer, and I'm like, <laughs> All right, well, we're looking for a change, and we kind of moved here and fell in love with the area. Well, good. <laughs> so, now, are there any other dog groomers in the area? Are y'all the only ones? Well, in town, I think we're the only ones, but I think there's a few in, in like Dunlap and Crossville and whatnot that I've spoken to briefly. They're nice people, but there isn't that many of us, so yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a need. Well, what all uh, services do you do here? Um, we give baths, we do like D-sheds, you know, with the double-coated breeds. Um, especially this time of year, they start floofing out all their coat. <laughs> and so lots of brushing. Uh, we do their nails, we clean their ears, we give them haircuts, so all that fun stuff. So you just do a lot oh, yeah, about we, everything? We pamper them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they need pampering too every yes. now and then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get, some of y'all stay pretty busy. Yes, yes. There is a lot more dogs than you would think in yeah. this area. <laughs> well, a lot of people uh, care for their animals, their pets. Exactly. And, we love uh, that. You know, and they want to take care of them, mm -hmm. you know, so they, they do. And that's the service you're offering to help them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, <clears throat> do the, the customers, I, I'm assuming they come here to drop off the pets and then they come back? Yeah, yeah. We, we prefer a mostly kind of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere. So they make an appointment time, they drop off, and then we call when they're ready. Um, so they, they hang out here. Sometimes appointments overlap and I let the dogs, as long as they're um, friendly with other dogs, they can hang out and we have fun. And then what we call their parents when they're ready and then they come pick up. We have a few clients that are like older or they get stressed out where the parent actually will sit in one of these chairs and just chill and wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's kind of neat. Uh, well, what are y'all's uh, hours of operation? Um, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. Um, I open at 8, 99% of the time, close at 5. And you stay pretty busy. Stay pretty busy, time. yeah. <laughs> now imagine now, uh, during this time, you'll be getting busier because of, uh, the, I guess, the winter layoff, you know, where exactly, everybody's getting exactly. them grew. Exactly. It gets warmer. Some of the dogs that, like, spend time outside, their parents are like, oh, they're getting hot now. I think we should get them groomed. And so yeah, we get a lot of extra clients once the weather turns to warm. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Is it, are dogs the only thing you do or do you do other animals? I do some cats as long as they're not crazy. Like uh, there's a few that I've had to turn away for being too aggressive. You know, uh -huh. they're kind of afraid of water and everything. And but <laughs> And then, yeah, we have a few guinea pigs that come in for their nails. You know, really? it's really mm -hmm. cute. They just, well, they, little, they squeak, they <laughs> just like, oh, come on, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet that's interesting. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love all animals, honestly. Yeah. I'd, I'd pretty much do anybody as long as I give it a try. <laughs> Well, is your business getting to where, uh, is it, uh, I guess it's growing mm -hmm. and you do you ever look at expanding maybe or well, that at, possibility? At the moment, I'm going to be um, teaching Starling here how to do what I do and then there will be eventually will be two of us given being able to give haircuts and that would, that would help a lot. <laughs> well, good. Yeah, that sounds good. And because <clears throat> um, I know there's people all, all the time moving into mm -hmm. the area mm -hmm. and uh, many of them have uh, pets mm -hmm. that they want groomed so that's a good thing yes it and, definitely uh, is and um, I'm, uh, I was, I'm assuming y'all both love animals <laughs> that's why, why you do this <laughs> you know, very much and, uh, 
I know some people are afraid of animals for some reason. I don't know. Uh, they can be intimidating if you can't read their body language, but it's a skill you work on. And yeah, uh, yeah not at all. Not at all afraid of them. And uh, of course, Trixie looks like she's pretty tame. Yeah. <laughs> she's a lazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> she's enjoying it. Well, <clears throat> what are uh, some of the memories you have? I know you probably have some good memories, a lot of good memories, probably have some bad memories too. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's there's quite a few. You know, you, you always make friends working in different salons. I've I've worked a few, you know, corporate salons, private salons, and you meet a lot of great people, and you get to kind of do all sorts of animals. And you know, I've been bit a few times. Yeah. It, it happens to everybody, unfortunately. But you kind of um, you kind of try to avoid that as best as possible. You get super speed. <laughs> you get really good reflexes. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. not nice. We don't treat others that way. <laughs> well, they have to be trained too, right? Yes, exactly. The the more often they come in and kind of get used to us as a, just a fact of life, you know, the the more they're like, oh, okay, yeah, this isn't a scary place. You guys are nice people. You're just giving me a haircut. You know, if they don't come in often enough, they can be a little bit more fearful. Like, where are we? Are we at the vet? You're here right. to kill me. You're taking my feet. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're just doing your nails. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that would be uh, if they don't come that often. I mm -hmm. guess they get exactly not it's a, used it would to be it. A something new, place new and like we're weird people and we're touching them in weird places and they're like we don't like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, do y'all have a, a website or, or how can people get in touch with you? Uh, we have a Facebook uh, page. It's Pikeville Pamper Paws. Um, so I have people contact me through that. You know they. They call the shop, or you know, we're we're online like that. I think I have. I'm on Google as well. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, were y'all closed for the winter, or did y'all stay open pretty much? I stay open. I pretty much only close uh, Christmas, <laughs> Thanksgiving, whatnot. I think dogs need groomed all the time. There there are times where I'll shut the shop down to either do repairs or to take a vacation. Yeah. But other than that, we're pretty much open. Well, I imagine with everything, the business you do, it keeps you pretty busy. You can't really close. Exactly, more. exactly. If, like, we could take a vacation for a couple of weeks, but then everybody starts freaking out. They're like, we need you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because they don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> it's, it's harder than it looks. Some people yeah. tried it, and they're like, I tried to clip it myself, and it didn't work out. I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> we'll fix it. And I guess in, in one sense, too, you have to build, uh, build the confidence in the animal. Mm -hmm. Uh, exactly. You, know, you become when, friends. And uh, you have to take it easy that way because, like I say, if they're scared not used to you, mm -hmm. it's just like a child. If they're not used to you, they may not exactly. uh, yeah. warm up to you. And, and your, your energy helps a lot if you're calm around the dog. They'll also be calm. If you're nervous around the dog, they're like, we should be nervous. They can Dogs can read you like a book. Yeah. <laughs> if you're sitting there freaking out, they're like, we should be scared. We should definitely be scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that... I know uh, animals are all different. I've, I've had uh, uh, dogs, and I've had some that were not so nice. They were mm -hmm. pretty mean. Yeah. And then I've had some ones that are just, you know, they just cuddle up to you and come up to you. Oh, yeah. And so uh, I enjoy that uh, as well. Now, um, how long have y'all been in business? Um, I think I opened the shop, I want to say late 2017. No. About four years, you said? It's about four years. About four years? Yeah, I want to yeah. say that. 21, 2019. Yeah, it was either 2017 or 2018. Mm. I have to look back on my <laughs> Facebook and be like, when was my grand opening at this yeah. point? My memory is like... <laughs> and, and, and it's grown ever since. It has, it has, yeah. We, we bought the building, we painted it, redid the floors, and just opened right up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess sometimes people would think that was... Uh, scary going into business you know because you never know if it's going to go or not exactly it's it's um it's you know a new thing you know i've never been a business owner before but i have a, a trade skill that people need and i'm like i'll do it <laughs> well uh do y'all ever uh find where uh, people maybe find find animals like a lot of dogs a lot of times that, that just roam they're out do y'all mm -hmm. uh try to locate them i mean do y'all have a, or is there a need for a service? I, uh, yeah, the, we, we are friends with quite a few like dog rescue people and like we try to, you know, if anybody's found out and about, we, we give them over to them and hopefully to find their animals. I, I, I wish that this 
area had like a shelter. Uh -huh. uh, there is a lot of people who, who let the, like lose their dogs. That, that would be an easy way for people to be able to re be reunited if they're looking for them, just to check a shelter and say, hey, have you found my dog? Because some people just pick up a dog and they're like, I don't know where to take the dog, so maybe I'll just keep the dog, and then, yeah. you know, they never know what happened to their dog. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, you know, and, uh, with all, I know recently um, someone in uh, Sequatchie County, their dog uh, got scared during a storm, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. they, can't, they can't find it. You know, it exactly. Really oh. They're yeah. all over yeah. Facebook looking yeah. for, if you see this dog, if you see this dog, you know, and you, you hope for the best, sometimes they find them, but... And you know, when we find dogs roaming around a lot, you know, we check Facebook, we, we contact the shelters, hopefully we'll catch them, get them out of the street. You know, yeah, this yeah, can be yeah. real scary. I mean, there's highways around here where people go really quickly. You don't want anybody getting smushed. Well, uh, I know this is out of your area and you probably don't do this, but what about uh, up here in, in Bledsoe County about vaccinations and stuff? Um, I, yeah, there, there are clinics. <clears throat> I, I heard that there's actually a, a, a vaccination clinic coming to town next week. I want to get the flyer for it and put it up. But there's a vet close by and, you know, the vaccination clinics are really cool. Mm -hmm. We, and there's, um, there's a few different uh, people that do like spay and neuter clinics that where everybody's always coming in and asking us, hey, where do I get my dog spayed? And like there's these low cost places. We give them their information and we're always looking to help. But you know, we don't we don't do anything like that. But we we try to gather that information because we see a lot of dog people. So we're like, here's the information that we know. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're really a, also a, a community community helper you get things out to the community that we'll try yeah when we yeah. see people and we know something that they need we'll we'll tell them all about it <laughs> yeah. a lot of people ask about boarding or things like that and if I come across a business I'm like here you go <laughs> like this is hopefully something that you can use <clears throat> excuse me have you ever uh, when when grooming a dog discovered uh, maybe something uh, 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 I don't want to say a disease but something where they've come across that they need further help yes exactly like like grooming uncovers a lot like if if they have a long coat the parents might not notice or or you know they're not trained with with animals very much so they don't know that a lump is cons is it might be um worrisome or anything like that i've um i've discovered like um, a female pomeranian that i shaved once had a mammary gland tumors um here on her belly and her mom didn't know that they were there and mm -hmm. she took her right to the vet and she had them removed there was you know a surgery and she's like oh thank you so much but i didn't even notice that that was a problem and so yeah you can under the fur there's lumps bumps scrapes you know any sort of skin issues that were to be like hey this is what we've discovered please take him to the vet <laughs> and yeah. they do and it's good well that's a good thing y'all can be a, a i guess a frontline protector for people who don't know mm -hmm. exactly and uh, you, you probably are more familiar with things to look for than just the yeah. average person. Yeah, if you, if you only ever see your dog, you don't necessarily know dogs in general, um, but we see a lot of dogs and we've been around them a lot. So we're kind of knowing what we're looking for. We're used to touching all over them and checking mm -hmm. their ears and their feet and their tails. And it's like, is it, is it what, what an ear infection smells like? You know, you're like, oh, that's something that we've seen before. You should probably uh -huh. take them to the vet or <laughs> things like that. Well, that's good because you're actually helping the uh, pet owner themselves who, mm -hmm. who, uh, in my, like in my case, I wouldn't know. I mean, yeah. it's just, I mean, I might look and say, oh, they've got a bump. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, but I wouldn't know if mm -hmm. uh, that was just something they bumped up against and just kind of have a swell, yeah. you know, swell up or if it was something serious. Yeah, yeah. It's always good. The more hands that, you know, touch the dog, be like, oh, that might be weird. And, you should check it out and they'd be like oh, okay i just thought i was being paranoid like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i i certainly understand that as well well uh, do you have any suggestions for uh pet owners of things to do and not do um get them as used to grooming young as possible you know make them so they aren't afraid of us you know come in get them touched get them petted so they're they're more used to meeting people then, you know, if they're just in their yard and then you take them only w once a year to some strange, crazy lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not strange. <laughs> but um, touch their feet crazy as lady. often That's as possible. 
Um, that way they're used to people touching their feet. Uh, with feet, yeah. a lot of times is a sign of dominance in dogs. If you touch their feet, they're like, what the heck, I'm, I'm, I'm in charge, you shouldn't be touching my feet. Mm -hmm. But the more you touch their feet, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to allow you to touch yeah, my feet. Yeah. You're kind of the boss, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then it's easier for us to do their nails and stuff like that. Well, and animals, if they're not used to being groomed, then mm -hmm. that's a new thing for them. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, they're not used to that. So that's something that they might not take on too well. At exactly. Times. Exactly. I don't want to be the bad guy. I want to be their friend. <laughs> well, is there anything else you'd like to uh, tell us about uh, the business before we? Because uh, now I, it's, it's been informative for me. <laughs> I'm not sure. I I, I think that's it. <laughs> And uh, tell everyone uh, where you're located so they can know that. It's uh, it's 22 Riverview in Pikeville. Uh, it's right across from the fire department in that little kitty corner on the south side of Main Street. We got a big sign on the top of our building. It's a big brown, small brown building. Sell it, Trixie. She's a minor. We got to pass it with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trixie, come here, Trixie. Come on. You're being a big baby. Oh, oh and you know, distract her. <laughs> I guess. Well, if there's nothing further, I appreciate you being with us today. And yeah. Folks, you can see this interview again on BTC Fiber's YouTube page as well as BTC Fiber's Channel 18. So until next time, have a good day. Hey everybody, this is Glenn Edison from Valley News. We appreciate you watching our shows and we would like for you to like, share, and follow us on Facebook as well as like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative, your full-service telecommunications provider right here in the Sequatchie Valley.